RetroBull has been atop the App Store for seemingly years now. New Star Games has truly created such a unique, immersive, yet simple game. This game combines depth with ease of use. It takes one of the most complicated sports in the world and breaks it down into bite-sized pixels. Not only that, but this game is accessible to everyone. It's free to play in the App Store, and you can even play it through your browser. But recently, a seemingly small issue has started to grow, and at some point, we can't ignore the numbers. There's no denying Retro Bowl's massive reach. Since its release in January of 2020, it's eclipsed over 17 million downloads in the App Store. Add to that, another 50 million gameplay sessions on browser. You could assume based on Retro Bowl's release coming only a few months before one of the biggest world events, that this was the cause for its rise. But oddly enough, Retro Bowl wouldn't see its first spike until nearly two years later, in the fall of 2021. Based on Google Trends, there is a very predictable pattern that Retro Bowl's interest seems to follow. It is the exact same pattern as the NFL season. A gigantic spike in September, followed by a return to baseline near the end of December. But if you look just a little bit deeper, you'll see there's something quite promising that lies beneath these numbers. As we approach the summer of 2023, we are entering Retro Bowl's third year of waves. When comparing the previous two years, last year saw a 33% higher increase than the last. Not only that, but the interest in the game continued to maintain at a higher level throughout the season. And while it might be easy to assume that 2023's growth will be even bigger than its last, it's important to look back on how we got to this growth in the first place. So what caused a nearly three-year-old game to attract so many new players? The answer? Hype. During the 2022 NFL season, football fans had a lot to look forward to. The previous year was littered with storylines, big trades, and off-season moves, and the following year was no exception. Take peak NFL interest and combine it with a game that is not only easy to grasp, but constantly improving, and multiply it by a growing number of creators that are testing its limits and growing a community. A season that encompassed QB mode, complete character customization, simulation, attribute buffs, new awards, the Retro Bowl hype was real. But like all good things, it must come to an end. Or maybe not. The only time interest in Retro Bowl truly bottomed out was in the summer of 2022. And as we approach the summer of the following year, we are falling from even greater heights. Will Retro Bowl's incredible rise lead to an even steeper fall? Or will its newfound baseline be higher than it's ever been? It may be foolish to assume Retro Bowl can keep its head above water during the offseason. The NFL has a much larger emphasis on the draft and offseason storylines, and even they can't compete with the NBA and NHL playoffs. But this isn't necessarily a bad thing. Giving the limelight to other sports only prepares the hype for the following year. And despite Retro Bowl's interest steadily decreasing over the summer, it won't be long before it's back on top. In fact, this may just be the time that New Star Games needed to continue building on what they already have. It wasn't too long ago that Retro Bowl had some pretty unenjoyable issues. If you accidentally went for it on fourth down, you couldn't elect to kick a field goal. If you were in the playoffs against another team and they scored a touchdown, you were fucked. There was no Josh Allen rule. You didn't get another chance. You just lose the game. When they scaled extreme up to like extreme mode they really scaled it up it was great the players are moving faster and jumping higher but you would literally fumble the ball like four times a game now they've fixed a lot of those issues granted i will say there's still a few issues i have i'll run over real quick forward progress for quarterbacks is fucked you get tackled and you lose yards it, it, it try it out it's messed up while simulation stats have become way better and i'm all for them being a little bit higher up my running back always averages like nine yards per carry i mean i did a rebuild with the Arizona Cardinals, James Conner averaged nine yards per carry, and Kyler Murray, a quarterback with eight speed, had zero rushing attempts over the entire season, so they do need to fix some things like that. But all in all, simulation stats are good, and the game itself is in a good spot. I'm going to talk about a few features that I think Retro Bowl could add that would continue to make the game better as 2023 progresses. Let's not waste our time developing game modes that no one really plays or cares about, and let's not add features that, you know, I had thought, maybe we could add penalties or a play clock. But in reality, that would just piss me off more. I don't need more RNG to make me lose the game. I can handle that myself. So let's put our development and our focus on things that will make the game better. 
and I have a video talking about five attainable features that Retrobull could add over the next development cycle. And I'm not talking about QB mode or defense. These are actually attainable things. And the first thing I want to talk about is dilemmas. The dilemma library is perfect. That is literally the backbone and the bread and butter of your entire season. Whether your player decides to play Retro Bowl in a team meeting or tell the fans, fuck off or piss on a cop's leg. The world is your oyster with the dilemmas. Now, I would like to see the dilemmas go even further, all right? It's pretty mature. They've, they kind of tote that line between what the fuck is going on and, hey, there's kids watching, which is great. But as someone who plays the game nearly every day, I've seen every dilemma. Let's continue to add more dilemmas. If I saw a unique dilemma, I would be so ecstatic. I want to keep seeing more, add to the library, and maybe raise the stakes a little bit, right? I mean, I've added fake tweets and suspended my players and kicked them out of the league before, so Let's make the stakes a little higher. If he gets busted with a substance abuse, he's suspended for four games. You can't play with him. I did that in my Lions series. If he's posting derogatory comments on social media, he's off the squad. He's out of the fucking league, right? Get him out of here. Let's raise those stakes, but let's maintain that fun little jovial flow that the retro bowl likes to tote the biggest actual feature that i've been wanting for a while i created mock-ups for it in my video i referenced earlier the ability to see the draft class ahead of time think about it the nfl draft is literally where teams prepare for future contracts they prepare for the team building experience which is the most important part of a rebuild why do i have to see the draft during the draft for the first time. There's a little helmet icon in the roster screen. When you click on it, you can bench all your players and boost their morale. It's fucking stupid. Nobody uses it. I do like the numerical overview, but the point is add the helmet for the ability to see the draft class ahead of time. You can scout the players there. Maybe there's more players and they disappear when you get to the actual draft because they got drafted. I don't know, but let me see the players ahead of time so I can prepare and I'm not giving a 33 year old receiver, you know, way too much money or maybe Maybe I can let that cornerback that's asking for the bag, let him walk. We don't need him. There's cornerback depth in the draft. Retro Bowl has just done such a good job at improving the little quality of life features that really makes this game feel like they care. It doesn't matter whether you play on extreme three minute quarters or you simulate on dynamic, you can genuinely be assured that you're putting your time into a game that actually cares. Another feature Retro Bowl could implement is the trade block. Now I know player for player trades are very rare and that does not happen very often. So let's not worry about it. But I think that if we added a trade block, very similar to free agency, to where instead of offering coaching credits, you offer picks first, second, or third in exchange for players, that'd be awesome. And you don't have to have one quarterback, one running back, one receiver. You can actually mix it up. Maybe there's three or four DBs that are available at the same time for different values. This will give you a little bit more of a pool to work with if you don't feel like shelling out the coaching credits and you've got enough draft capital. This is something else that I want Retro Bowl to add that I don't really know how, but I need it. Allow for longer names beyond eight characters and at least don't cut off the eighth character. The last name Harrison loses the N. You can't even spell McCaffrey. I know the majority of NFL names are shorter than eight characters. Give us the ability to at least scrunch down the names. Is that so hard? And while we're on the topic of it, let's get some more faces. I mean, it's been a while. The faces are great, but we need more medium skin faces. There's like seven. I've gone on Piskel. I've made my own faces. It's not that hard. And I'm sure just a little bit of variance would go a long way in adding some uniqueness and, oh shit, where'd that face come from? Never seen that one before. As opposed to the one guy that looks like Patrick Mahomes in the one Asian guy. Regardless, these are just some features that I think that if they actually implemented would make the game so much more enjoyable because you actually have that added layer of depth beyond what they already have. And this is exactly what they would need to continue to build the hype for the upcoming season. While the NFL is not really in the limelight, it's time to focus on developing the game and adding features that will really change it. And as far as this channel is concerned, you will continue to see Retro Bowl posted here every week. We are finally finishing up the Lions season and where coach Mike Hunt goes, who knows? And if you guys want to support the channel beyond leaving a like and a comment and subscribing, you can always buy the merch. We have hats, shirts, and crewnecks on the way. Message me in Discord or comment below if you're interested. If you guys made it to the end, I appreciate you sticking around. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.